Okay guys, how's it going? Today we are going to dive into the properties of logarithms. Um, as we learned yesterday, remember logarithms and exponential equations or functions are inverses. So in order to really work with logs, we have to know the properties of logs. I don't know if you guys remember, but we have properties of exponents too. Remember when you multiply the same bases, you add the exponents. When you divide the same base, you subtract the exponents. When you raise a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. Well, those are the exponent laws or properties. Today we're going to investigate the properties of, of logarithms, not exponentials, okay? So let me show you how this works. When I have log base b times m of m times n, this multiplication in the log part can be split up to an addition. Remember, think reversing exponentials. When you multiply the same base, don't you add the exponents? Right? Well, you're multiplying here, so you're going to add the logs. So, I wanted to give you an example for all of these so you can see what I meant, gentlemen. So, if I tell you the log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 4, okay, what is that as one single log? Well, that's going to be the log base 3 of 20. Because the log base 3 of 5 times 4 is the same thing as saying the log base 3 of 5 plus the log base 3 of 4. Subtraction, just like division. Remember, guys, what do you do to the exponents when you divide the same bases? You subtract the exponents. What am I doing here in a log when I'm dividing? I'm subtracting. If you remember that this is simply the inverse of exponents, Life makes it a little bit easier. This makes life easier. So when I have the log base b of m divided by n, it's going to equal the log base b of m minus the log base b of n. So if I gave you the log, log base 4 of 48 minus log base 4 of 12, this is going to be, and that should be a 4 here. I'm sorry. That should be a 4 here. Okay, so that should be a 4. I'm sorry. Now, let's go ahead and be technical here. Technically, this should equal 48 over 12, which then equals log base 4 of, of uh, 4. Sorry. Okay. So that's what that means. When I have a subtraction in a log, it's being related to a division. And then the power property. What do we say happens when you raise a power to a power? What happens when you raise a power to a power? You're m no, when you raise a power to a power, x cubed to the fourth power, you multiply, guys. Well, same thing for logs. When I have something raised, okay, when I have log base b of m raised to the n power, I can rewrite that as putting the n as a product. So basically, I'm multiplying the n to the log base b of m. So when I raise something to a power, I can reverse it to multiplication. What am I talking about? If I have 8 log base 3 of 2, that equals 8 base th log base 3 of 2 to the 8th power. That 8 on the exponent can be represented as a number in front of the log. Does that make sense, guys? Because now, that, that's it. The rest of the day is just nothing but practice. Does that make sense, though, so far? Yeah. Sure. Yes, sir. I'm I'm a little confused as to what you're saying. Guys? Well, here's an example, son. Tell me. Yeah, 
Oh, oh, okay. Okay, you got you got me confused there for a second. Okay, what Jimmy's at what what my boy's asking is when I have log base four, okay, when I have this because okay, when I already have it in subtraction, son, this is telling you, hey reader, it's log base four of forty eight over twelve. Then I can go ahead and reduce it. But now what you're saying is this. Think about it. Guys, what does log base four of four really equal? It equals 1. Didn't we say yesterday that the log base 4 raised to the si of the same value of the base, don't they cancel? Yeah. So, let's look at what you were saying. If I want to break this down, I guess technically log 48 could have been broken down to log base 4 of, I don't know, 4 plus log base 4 of 12, right? Right? And then you're going to have to divide that, though, by the log base 4 of 4 plus the log base 4 of 3. Are you with me so far? You with me here, brother? Okay. Because then that's a 1, and that's a 1. And then log base 4 of 12 over 3 is 4. So I'm going to have, oh, yeah, this is going to be a mission, man. That's going to be one. No, yeah. Do not do not do not make a mountain out of a molehill here, buddy. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Okay? Let me show you how it works with actual examples. Okay? Please, and thank you. Write each expression in a single logarithm. Again, now, I know that you're going to be tempted. You're going to say, wait a second, but this 32, I can break that up into a lot of factors. Yeah, but what are they telling you? They're telling you that you have a negative. You have a minus. Okay? Okay. So, I have log base 4 of 32 minus log base 4 of 2. So, what's going to happen there? I have a subtraction. So, that means I want this as a single expression. I want this as a single logarithm. So, subtraction represents division. So, I'm going to have log base 4 of 16 because 32 divided by 2 is 16. But now, check this out. This can be broken down to log base 4 of 4 squared, correct? Because then it's 16, 16, 4 squared. Well, what happens when I have a log base B of that same B? They cancel, so my answer is just 2. Log base 4 of 4, those cancel. And I'm left with my 2. We went over that log yesterday. B, 6 times the log base 2 of X plus 5 times the log base 2 of Y. Well, check this out, guys. This outside number and this outside number are exponents. So, and I have a plus here. So I'm going to have log base 2 of X to the 6th power times Y to the 5th power. Why did I multiply them? Because I have a plus. Plus indicates multiplication when you turn it into a single term. Does that make sense? That only works because I have the same base, absolutely. Same base, absolutely. If not, this cannot work. Then you have a change of base. Yes, sir? Um, you can't do 30. The question was, why can't you do multiplication? Because, um, because you don't? This is, this here, this 6 is an exponent. So that's log base 2 of x to the 6th. A plus here means you are multiplying. So times uh, y to the 5th. Why would you do 30? I did not teach that and neither did any of the laws. Okay. You are multiplying x to the 6th and y to the 5th. You are multiplying. But what did I tell you the number in front of the log represented? We just went over this. The number in front of the log represents an exponent. Thank you. Next. 
Okay, log base 4, 5x plus log base 4, 3x. Okay, I'm going to multiply these two together. So I got log base 4 of 15x squared. Done. 2 log base 4 of 6 minus log base 4 of 9. Okay, this is going to be log base 4 of 6 squared, which is 36. But I have a minus, so divided by 9. So that's going to give me log base 4 of 4, which equals 1. Because whenever I have log base b of b, I can cancel those two out. And my answer is the exponent left over of b. Talk to me. Now we're going to reverse this. Now we're going to reverse this. So I have log 4x divided by y. I want this expanded. Well, division represents what? Subtraction. So log of 4x minus log of y. What is the base of a log if I never have it? And what is the base of ln? E, thank you. ln is the same thing as log base E. Thank you. Okay, next. I've got a log base 3, 9 of, of 9x to the fifth power. This is a really good one. This is, first of all, it's, it's multiplication. So what does that represent? Addition. So I've got the log base 3 of 9 plus the log base 3 of, uh, of x to the fifth. Right? I'm not done even by a long shot. This is log base 3 of 3 squared plus this exponent goes down to the front. So 5 log base 3 of x. What does log base 3 of 3 squared equal? 2. So I'm going to have 2 plus 5 log base 3 of x. Talk to me, guys. That's why we're here learning. Yes, sir. When it's expanded, we're talking about plus or minuses. There will not be any more exponents. No, sir. No, sir, because we're expanding it. And an exponent in log, we can expand it to be in front of the log. Thank you, sir. Great question. How are we doing here, boys? Okay, now, none of these will be able to be done with calculator. I will not allow you to have a calculator for these. So if you start doing it with the calculator now, you're only hurting yourself, my brothers. Only hurting yourself. Now, next. Log base 9 of x to the 4th divided by 729. What does division represent? What does that exponent represent? Multiplication. Good. So I'm going to have, let's see if we can, we can all work here at the same pace. Log base 9 of x to the 4th, let's just do one at a time, minus log base 9 of 729. Can everyone see that so far? Now, I'm going to move, I have an exponent, so that means multiplication. So I'm going to have 4 log base 9 of x minus. Okay, whenever I have something here, guys, i got to try my best to see if it's something that I can reduce or simplify. And unfortunately, 9 cubed is, uh, <laughs> is 729. So what is log base 9 of 9? Okay, very good. This guy and this guy cancel. I'm left with a 3. So I've got 4 log base 9 of x minus 3. Done. So, why would you put 27 squared, Baba? Um, no, that can't be. Right, 3 cubed, but that's not 9 cubed. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Just give me a second. All right, for the most part, you guys did really well on this one. Good job. This is going to be log base 3 of 250 minus log base 3 of 37. Now, this is a little bit of a pickle, okay? This one's tough. I love the interruptions. Um... Okay, now, 
We got 250 here. Can't I, I know this is reaching, okay? And this is just going to take some time for you guys to figure this out. But isn't 2 times 250, uh, times 125, 250? So I could really do log base 3 of 2 plus log base 3 of 125 minus log base 3 of 37. 125 is 5 cubed. So this 125 can become um, 5 cubed, right? So then in the end, this is going to be log base 3 of 2 plus 3 times log base 3 of 5 minus log base, 30, base 3 of 37. How would you put this? I would have given you a majority of the points. Probably like I would have taken off maybe a quarter of the points. Because that shows me at least that you understand the concepts. And that's, that's what's really important here. And then when you go above and beyond and you figure it all out, that's where you get the full credit. Sir? I'm sorry? You could have used 25, but then you'd have 5 squared. And then 10... Um, yeah, I guess you could have, but I, I don't use just random numbers just to have them. I use, I split them up into numbers that I can actually uh, refine and simplify. If I went log base 3, okay, 250, and I went 10 times 25, that would be log base 3 of 10 plus log base 3 of 25. I guess technically I would allow that, except that then this would become log base 3 of 5 squared, so it would be log base 3 of 10 plus 2 log base 3 of 5. Okay? So it's going to be a little bit different, but as long as you did it correctly, I would accept that, sir. I would try to go to numbers that you can't simplify any further. That's exactly correct, sir. That's exactly correct, sir. Let's, let's do last thing. Easy. This is, this is where you can have a calculator. This is where you may use a calculator. Logarithms can have many different bases, okay? The log key, there's a key that says log on your calculator. That finds when the log of base 10, okay, of a number. And then the ln key, ln key finds the log of base e of a number. However, you can, f you can use the change of base formula to evaluate a logarithm with any base using a scientific calculator. The formula states, okay, when I have a log b of m, some log b of m, I'm going to just take the log of any base times m divided by the log of that same base times b. For us and our purposes, that c is going to equal 10, and you're just going to hit the log button on your calculator. So, what is this crazy man talking about? Log of 8127. Okay, guys, think about it. It's right here. This is log base 81, and the M is 27. So this is going to equal the log of 27 divided by the log of 81. When you put that into your calculator, it's 0.75. Done. All you got to do is know and understand the actual formula for the change of base. When I have log base 5 of 36, I can't simplify this at all. Let me show you what I mean. If I had log base 6 of 36, doesn't that break up into log base 6 of 6 squared? So then I can cancel that, and wouldn't that equal 2? That's what we've already learned. In this case... Am I ever going to have a base of 5 in the number 36? No. You have a question, sir. You're never going to have a base of 5 in, in, in the uh, value of 36. So this is, to solve this, it's log of 36 divided by log of 5, which will equal 2.23. Log of 8 and 32, okay. Yes, you do have 8 times 4 there. But is that really going to help you? Um, it could. I want you to really use all your skills correctly. 
what I would do in this case, I would go log 32 over log of 8, which is going to equal 1.67. However, if you wanted to get fancy on me, couldn't you technically go log 8 of 8 times 4, which would equal log of 8 of 8, log base of 8, 8, plus log base 8 of 4, technically? Isn't this going to become a 1? If you go ahead and do your calculator, log 4 divided by log of 8, it's going to give you 0.666 repeating, so either way. But why go through all that trouble? If you have a change of base here, and the base and the, and the, uh, and the value of, of the answer, okay, cannot share a common base, then just do sh um, change of base formula. Log 4, base 4 of 18. Is 18 ever going to break down into a base of 4? No. So I'm going to do log of 18 divided by log of 4, which would equal 2.085. So that is the only thing that up to right now today you could use a calculator for. If when you're doing your homework, you are going to use a calculator for all of it, I cannot police you. I'm not there. However, that will not help you for the quiz or the test. Thank you very much. Homework is valid. May God bless you all.